Hello chess friends and welcome to Yazar of Chess Channel and welcome to another brilliant game from the computer chess rating list website, the popular CCRL. We have here fire against Stockfish 17 in an amazing Meran variation of the Semislav defense. And in this game, again, we see the most powerful chess engine, Stockfish 17, playing with the black pieces against d4. Uh, I really love to watch uh, Stockfish playing with the black pieces because then you can find, I think, the most important ideas, the best ideas, the best uh, concepts of any openings. And in this game, what's really unbelievable, Stockfish will show us here a completely, completely new concept of the Meran variation of the Semislav defense. A completely new approach a sideline that has never been played so far in chess history really, really stockfish in one moment will castle on the queen side which is really a risky choice but then will try to launch a king side attack which is really really crazy if you are maybe a semi-slav defense player you will be surprised by the sideline by stockfish so put your seatbelts on and enjoy it really really a great strategic but also a beautiful tactical game by the most powerful chess engine in the world by stockfish 17 so let's see now what happened with the white pieces here fire open with the move d4 d5 by the fish c4 queen's gambit the slav defense knight to f3 three knight variation now f move e6 we have now the so-called semi-slav defense e3 no main line we have knight from b to d7 and now here black in this uh, opening is waiting this move to happen bishop to d3 uh now when the bishop is out you get an extra tempo with d takes c4 the bad part for black is of course that black in the beginning loses a little bit the pawns central control which means that white has now this two pawns against one pawn here by black so white can maybe search for mobility of the pawns in the center but of course now after d takes c4 what's a good part for black black gains an extra tempo black has to uh, now of course expand on the queen side with potential ideas like a6 and then c5 we have now bishop to d3 bishop to b7 casting and now comes this idea a6 fixing the pawn on b5 and preparing to launch the c5 attack and then of course trying to undermine the main strength that so far white has here of course the power for central control with this pawns now comes e4 c5 anyway here by the fish and now f move d5 now there are many many choices that you can do one in, one of the approaches for for black can be here e takes d5 stockfish didn't like this line e takes d5 elites i think here into two equalish game then after something like bishop to e7 white could try this dangerous attack with d, uh, d6 then you take then you get checked uh bishop to e7 and you see now black is having a tough time to maybe somehow uh, the, uh finally secure the king by casting because if you do so then of course the bishop could be lost but i've analyzed now even this line deeper in order to show what actually would happen that's why probably stockfish didn't uh go into this line because i think it leads into two equalish position and a stockfish of course many times is simply searching for a win even with the black pieces so now for bishop to have three uh white would probably try to keep the queen on the e file because as i said we don't allow here black to castle and then after something like b4 knight to a4 now you can finally castle and even if something like this happens uh, queen takes e7 then you have this one queen to a5 because then b3 is not a possibility because of rook to e8 and you see the rook is lined up so that's why uh here after queen to a5 then knight to c5 knight to c5 leads into uh this line maybe after a couple of trades of pieces uh here the game should be too equalish not it's not the problem that the position is too equalish um the position is too simplified i would say uh, there's not so much that can be done you see only with uh, five pawns with one bishop with one knight and two rooks on the board um nothing dramatic i think can happen so that's why uh already this e takes d5 method uh as i said leads simply into a too simplified line for both sides so here that's why after d5 stock push tries queen to c7 we have now b3 preventing c4 c4 for black here is not a good choice i would say again although it has been played many times in chess history you're simply left then with an isolated c pawn which could be then a strategic disadvantage through the whole game and then after uh, something like bishop to d6 in some lines maybe white can also start and later maybe to push the pawns e5 d6 and similar stuff so uh here after move b3 stockfish keeps it calm and plays now bishop to e7 and now 
the real fun starts here uh here fire tried a4 undermining of course the space advantage that black built here on the queen side stockfish plays now b4 and that's now the first novelty a completely new move and it's not a problem probably many of us would play the move b4 but the follow-up is in my opinion really really great let's see also options for instance if you try again e takes d5 without uh b4 then after knight to d5 knight takes d5 uh, then casting you can pick up this one and probably also in this line um white would eventually lose here uh the spawn on on d5 and again i think the game is too simplified which is i think not something that again the most powerful chess engine in the world is searching for just to get a drawish position probably as i said black will get the pawn back but again it's simply too too drawish then for both sides so here f move a4 stockfish fixes now the structure plays now b4 d takes e6 we have f takes e6 stockfish is now left with a strategic disadvantage with an isolated pawn with the weak pawn in the center of the board but now after knight to e2 here by uh uh, uh, by fire stockfish plays now a beautiful queen side casting and you see now stockfish simply changed the whole concept of this opening place now queen side casting stockfish is saying here i will try to do something on this side of the board my bishop is very well placed it can of course attack here also the pawn we can maybe push the pawns here try to open maybe the hg file so uh here stockfish plays already already a beautiful attack with the black pieces so here queen to c2 oh, here uh, the fire engine protects now the pawn on e4 if you try here knight to g5 I've also analyzed now this line at home seemed tempting to me uh, going maybe for the e6 core look at this actually after knight to e5 uh, black can even play a beautiful counter attack allow here knight to e6 but then you put more pressure against this uh, bishop on d3 and now after something like knight to d8 rook takes d8 you have to now somehow protect the bishop you can maybe try uh, bishop to c2 but then queen to g4 is simply winning the game on spot because there's not so much that can be done you see even if you try queen to e1 then knight to f3 uh, immediately immediately you lose the queen you cannot pick it up because of the activity of the queen against the king and even if you try bishop to d2 then again with the same pattern rook to d2 and then knight to f3 again wins the game on spot here for black so see it's not so easy for uh, white to go immediately for the weakness that black has in the position it is a long-term weakness i'm not saying it's not but you have to first of all prepare you have to search first of all for a security you have to first of all also develop uh here the bishop maybe also the rook in order to then afterwards go for the e6 weakness so here after queen side casting that's why queen to c2 uh here by fire stock which continues with bishop to d6 keeps an eye of course on the h2 square knight to g3 and now knight to e5 going for a simplification trying of course uh to force a position knight to e5 bishop to e5 and then go with the bishop maybe here on a beautiful square on the square d4 and again white cannot go for the uh for this weakness on e6 because even if that happens then knight takes d3 you try maybe something like this we play queen to c6 you can pick up the rook but now the issue is after queen to d3 and bishop to e5 you see we have a discovered attack against the qu uh, queen the rook is also hanging you could maybe try to protect it but then c4 then something like this look at this very very messy position uh, bishop to c3 you're trying to do something like this this is just a stockfish line that i'm showing at home of course we don't want to dive too deep into the sidelines but uh, uh, when this pawn is starting to roll i think uh, with the support of the rook in one moment uh white will also have to give up the other bishop for a pawn and then black would have a favorable end with two bishops against the rook so uh here also immediately as i said again this whole knight to g5 concept is not working big i'm showing you many times now this move knight to g5 because it is the main attacking idea here for white and it will happen eventually in one particular um uh, moment of the game but again so far it's not working because stockfish secured so far a great activity uh, with its pieces after knight to e5 that's why bishop to e2 we have king to b8 and now again knight to g5 now finally uh here uh fire goes for the e6 weakness now the bishop is not attacked and you see the queen is not overloaded to the defense of the bishop on e3 stockfish continues now with the rook to e8 protects now the pawn bishop to b2 knight to c6 going for the d4 weakness in black in white's position we have now bishop to c4 again here um fire goes now for the weakness on e6 but now stockfish plays a beautiful counter attack with knight to d4 after bishop takes d4 c takes d4 
queen to d3 here play by fire because you cannot take it immediately rook to e6 and then uh, it's not possible to pick up the rook because the queen is lined up on the c file and white is losing the size of material and of course uh, immediately the game so that's why for c takes d4 we have now queen to d3 stockfish plays now beautiful knight to d7 allows now finally knight to e6 sacrifices now the exchange here on d on, on d8 but now you have a beautiful rook takes e6 bishop to e6 and now knight to c5 the fork against the bishop and the queen the queen has to now protect uh this bishop on uh, e6 this line is now pretty much forced there's not so much that white can do now white has to now go, go now into this tactic sequence stockfish continues now well with knight takes e6 queen takes e6 and now bishop to c8 puts more pressure against the queen fire is probably happy here to somehow uh, force uh, trades of queens because uh, uh, fire probably calculated that this this should be perfectly fine you're up the exchange but actually that's the line that stockfish was hoping for stockfish plays now queen takes c4 b takes c4 and now d3 and Look what Stockfish gained here. Stockfish gained now two passers that are supported by the rook and also will be supported by both of these bishops. So now Stockfish calculated that this is enough, that these two rooks cannot hold now both pawns uh, here in the center of the board and also here on the queen side. Very, really amazing stuff here. Uh, here Stockfish tricked, I think, fire really into a wild tactical sequence. What should now uh, what should now white do? Of course, you have to now compete somehow against his pawns. For instance, if you try rook from a to d1, seems tempting, seems like a logical idea, I would say here for white to play uh, something like this. This is not working because of bishop to e5, of course, protecting first of all the pawn. Then after something like this, you can still uh, include now the bishop in a beautiful way into the game. You attack the rook. And now when the rook come may comes maybe now on the third rank, now you play b3 and you just push this other pawn. Look at this. In one moment, you can even, I think, give up this pawn, but this pawn is marching and now uh it's really really crazy how stockfish calculates uh this amazing end game uh, end game sequences now if a rook to d1 look at this bishop to d7 we go for this one you're trying now of course to get the knight into the game but now we keep the bishop on this diagonal protecting the pawn then after something like f4 you're trying of course to lock down uh here the bishop on f6 but now you play bishop to a4 rook to f1 keeping of course here uh the uh, the rook connected to this uh, square b1 you cannot play rook to b1 immediately because then bishop to c2 uh, immediately attacks the rook and then the promotion would happen so that's why you're pretty much forced to play something like rook to f1 bishop to c2 you play now e5 but now the issue is you get this one you get now a beautiful check uh, by uh, by the bishop and now the king has to step back now you play bishop to d4 and now in in this particular sequence actually it's game over uh, here for white. Look at this. The king is too far away from the action. And now black starts to push the pawns here in one moment. Uh, white has to give up now the rook for a pawn. Again, game over. This king can hold now both of these pawns. It's not the point about that. So uh, black should be much, much faster in this race situation. And game over here for white. So see, after move d3, you cannot play rook from a to d1. A move that we would love to play finally include the rook into the game but it's not working so that's why rook to rook from f to d1 because here with this move uh fire is trying now uh, to hold both of these pawns with both of the rooks so here after rook from f to d1 stoppage continues with an attack and here uh fire hopes to get into a simplified line where finally stockfish is giving up now the bishop for an, uh, for the rook here that's exactly what happened rook to a1 and now stockfish pushes the pawn further we have now rook to d1 and now king to c7 what should you do let's see now options uh knight takes d2 is of course not good because you're allowing here uh the rook to be pinned here by um uh, the knight to be pinned here on, on the default by the rook if you play here rook takes d2 seems also tempting seems also almost like white is winning why should black give up of course uh this very dangerous pawn but actually after rook to d2 uh, this uh, end game actually is, is, is in black's favor we simply fix now this position and even if you try something like knight to a5 then we pick up this one and in one moment look at this uh, the knight is trapped uh you cannot uh, go somewhere with the knight and uh, again white is losing the size of the material so game over here for, for for white so you could try maybe here in this position c5 without playing king to f1 uh, not allowing of course uh, here black to play king to b6 but then we push the pawn b3 uh, white is trying to hold this position but now suddenly look at this bishop to uh, b5 this would be then a completely completely winning endgame you're not allowing of course 
white uh, to get closer with the king and now white sh should probably search for a different path with the king but it's a little bit too slow now the king is coming here not allowing even the move king to e3 now we attack the knight and now after a couple more moves in this potential line this wasn't playing the game i wanted to show you how beautiful also this uh, particular end game would have been now black would play a beautiful tzuk song you just force your opponent to make some moves you just uh, wait you just wait the right moment when the knight doesn't have any good squares and then in one moment you can start to push the pawns look at this now the knight is out of game you attack now the knight and now when that that this happens now the knight doesn't have any more access to this square and we can slowly push this pawn again game over here for white the knight is then out of game you can of course trade it off but black's promotion comes comes much comes much much more faster than white's potential promotion here on the e file so you see even rook takes d2 in this position it's not working so that's why uh here king to uh, after king to c7 by the fish here um uh, fire tried f3 the move that of course includes now the king further into the game fire is searching now for a different path for the king we have now b3 stockfish pushes the pawn anyway we have now rook to d2 rook takes d2 knight takes d2 and now b2 but we are reaching now a similar position where of course okay white is getting the king closer to the action but now stockfish attacks this one we have now bishop to uh, king to e3 and now bishop to c4 obviously you cannot take because of this uh, promotion here uh, on b1 so that's why a5 stockfish now plays bishop to a2 and now promote simply for just now why to give up now uh the knight for opponent now i think it's completely completely winning end game your stockfish waits it's not rushing here uh simply improving a little bit the position of the bishop now waits again again sort of a tzuk tsang move forcing white to move and then including now the king into the attack e5 and now after bishop to f5 uh in this particular position fire resigned so what's the issue obviously we're going to take out this one push this pawn this pawn uh, this bishop is holding then uh, this pawn on this side of the board or you can wait you can of course after something like this just include the king uh somewhere here and in one moment uh white has to step back from the defense of the pawns and again in any lines i think completely completely winning end game here for white uh so great game here by stockfish 17 i would say let's go to the beginning which is uh, i think a very important position worth to study here queenside casting with this attacking ideas risky you have to know your stuff then afterwards but i would say interesting interesting here um semi slavic defense by stockfish 17 maybe you can surprise your opponent with these types of concepts with these types of strategies incredible game then we saw the exchange sacrificed by the fish really really amazing amazing game by the most powerful chess engine in the world by stockfish 17 so okay i hope that you enjoyed this game i really enjoyed it a lot uh, interesting ideas uh, here in this uh, semi slav defense if you want to see some other beautiful stockfish 17 stockfish 16 lila c0 alpha zero chess games check out our come to chess games play by computer series here the link of our playlist and if you like this content hit the subscribe button See you soon with some more videos and what do we say in the end? Chess is the best of course.